So bypass diodes are electrical components called diodes, which allow the current only to flow in one direction and they provide a bypass, they provide a, a way around your solar panel if part of your panel is not functioning properly. So let me explain this as simple as I can with a simple wiring diagram of a typical solar panel. So by now you understand that all your cells of your solar panel, they're all connected in one long string. So they're all connected in series with each other. So a result of this is that if one of your cells wouldn't be working, if one of the connections between the solar cells would be faulty, or if part of your panel uh, would be shaded with whatever kind of uh, reason, then the whole panel wouldn't work anymore. And this is of course what you would like to, to avoid. So now the bypass diode comes to the rescue because imagine that the first third of the solar panel is being malfunctioning. So either due to shade or due to something broken inside of the panel, then in order to avoid the whole panel to stop working, the bypass diode will provide an alternative path for the electricity to flow. So in this situation, the bypass diode will just cancel out the first third of the panel and will then still allow the other two thirds of the panel to perform. Now it depends on the specific configuration of your panel, but most of the times you have two or three bypass diodes. So again, if the, the second part of the panel would be shaded, then another bypass diode would kick in and would still allow for another part of the panel to work. But the main message here is that if you wouldn't have any bypass diodes, if one cell would be malfunctioning due to shade or due to bad wiring or whatever, then the whole panel would stop functioning. If you have bypass diodes in place, then just part of the panel will be cut off, but the rest of the panel would still perform as usual. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of off-grid energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. So we're going quite a bit in depth now, but now you understand really what the, the purpose is of the bypass diodes and how they help to um, increase the overall stability and performance of your solar system. Uh, we discussed the junction boxes, what they do. Now let's look at the very last topic and let's look at the external connectors, so the wires that come out of your solar panel.